So I just open the uh, putty and then I can put 10.0.0.1 here as an IP address. I say SSH. You can see here you can connect via Telnet also if you want. So now let's just put the 10.0.0.1 and say open. It will send me the keys. That's fine. Uh, that's for security. Okay, I'll put admin and uh, here we go. I'm now inside the router. But as I said, that uh, you will uh, be on a command line. So it means that you will not have the graphical user interface to configure the router. And here, as the router is a Mikrotik, uh, is, a, is, is a Linux uh, based, then really, if you are good in Linux uh, command lines, then here you can set your router the way you like via the command line. And it's very efficient. But actually, Winbox can do up to 99% of what the command line can do if you use uh, the command line and the Mikrotik router. Okay. So I will close the SSH. Um, now this step is already also done. Now disable web config and try to connect again. Does it work? Let's see. We go back to uh, Winbox. Um, if we look inside uh, IP and then services here. Okay. IP services. You can see here different services that are active. One of them is this one, www, that's web config. Winbox, it has a port of uh, 8291. So if you don't want anyone to connect to Winbox unless you, you can apply a filter, a firewall filter, and then you block everyone on this port unless your IP address the IP of your PC. Okay, you have Telnet, SSH, FTP, and so forth. So let me just uh, now, they asked me to disable web config. So I will disable www. I will disable it. Open the browser here, and then I will say 10.0.0.1. Okay, it's not working. We cannot connect to uh, web config. But if I now just enable it again, let's try to enable it again. And then I will go here and say enter. And you can see I'm now again inside the router. You see? It's because I just enabled it. It's just it takes fraction of seconds and it is applied okay i will keep it enabled now so does it work no it didn't work if we disable the web config so we disable the service so it doesn't work now the step number nine create a username and password with the view only permission then connect to the router can you make any change on the configuration now okay we have to go actually to system users okay from system then you go to users. What we have at this moment is this uh, user, which is admin. And that's when when I disconnect now. And then when I uh, try to connect again, I put here admin and I put no password, right? And this is really the user, which which we are now, uh, we have just checked here, this one. Okay, this is really the admin and which uh, doesn't have any uh, password. That's the default user. Okay, of course, from here, you can see we have groups. We have full, like the admin one, read and, and write. Read is the uh, read permission only and write. If you want to dig more, you can check here what write can do. Okay. Uh, what uh, the read can do as permissions. Okay. And the full. Now, they asked us to create a user, a new user. Let's call it uh, uh, lab1. Okay. I'll put it in the group of read. And then I put a password of it of one nine uh, one two three four five six one two three four five six. So it's in the group read and not in the full and not in the right. So it's, you can only read and then I will say okay. So lab one one two three four five six. I will disconnect and then I will connect again now using the login lab one one two three four five six. Connect. Here we go. So I'm now inside of uh, this router using lab1 user. Can we do configuration? Let's check. If I go to IP address and I want to add or delete or, uh, you see, it's just locked. I cannot do anything. I can only see the IP, but I cannot, like in the uh, few minutes back, I showed you how you can uh, add an IP or delete it or disable it or enable it. So I will disconnect now and then let's go to the lab and I say, can you make any change on the configuration now? Now, no, we cannot do any change on the configuration now when we do uh, use the uh, read uh, the only uh, the view only permission. 
The last two steps we have to do is to set a binary backup and save it on your PC and then to reset the router. So, say uh, at this moment we have what we have done is just we change the, the the name of the router, the identity, and we have set an IP address on this interface. That's the only things we have done, and of course we have created a user um, here, uh, lab one. Okay, that's the three things that we have done in in this uh, router to now in the, our first lab. But the uh, thing that you have uh, in a big company, a lot of people working in the company, and uh, you have a lot of configuration done on your router. Okay. So just for safety, you need always to keep a backup copy with you, okay? And uh, this backup copy is very important that you um, uh, you leave it so in case the router crash or someone do a mistake on the congregation from your colleagues in the IT department, then you can reuse the backup that you have done and then uh, you will restore the, uh, the old congregation. So the question here is saying to set the binary backup and save it on your PC and reset it on your router. Okay, there are two ways to make the backup, a binary and also via text. In this lab, because we are just in the beginning lab, we are doing the binary, okay? A binary backup, we can get it from, we go to file. As you can see here, I have uh, already uh, a lot of uh, backup over here. Let me just uh, uh, take them out all, okay? So a binary backup is to make a backup here. I will call it uh, lab one backup. The password, we don't have a password. If you have an administrator password, that's where you have to put it here. But now we have only admin and we don't have a password. We don't need to put a password, okay? And then I make a backup, okay? And then this one, you can just take it and put it on your desktop or in a TFTP server or whatever, just don't leave it in the router because in case you don't have access to the router, that means you don't have access to the backup. Of course, you can keep a copy here, but it's always uh, safe to put a, 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 a copy aside. Um, now, I will delete also this one. By the way, if you have 10 routers who, which have the same model and the same interfaces and they are all the same, you can do conversion on one router and then this backup, you can send it to all other routers and it will be applied. That's the binary. The text backup, uh, that you can uh, change on it and then you can make it in a way that it can be applied to any router from Microtech, but you have to make some change inside the text, okay? Now, let me reset the router. So we have, we know now how to make the backup. We need to reset it. I will go to system. I will go to reset configuration and I will say, keep user now. I don't want no default configuration. I don't want any default configuration because normally Microtech can give you a, possibly to have a default configuration. I don't want that. And no backup because we have already done that and I will reset. And then yes. We have to wait a few uh, seconds till the router is rebooted. So we have lost all the configuration now because we have just reset it and we don't have anything anymore on the router. And the step which is coming now is to restore the old configuration using the saved backup that we have it on our desktop. And that will be our last step to do. Let's check Winbox now again and see if the router came online or not yet. And here we go. You can see the IP address that we have set it is gone. That means there was some, there was something, there is a resetting that we have done here. Also the identity is gone. It's back to Microtech. We connect to the MAC address again now. I will say connect. What I need to do is to put an IP address. which is 10.0.0.1 slash 24 and then I put it on Ethernet 1 okay and on my PC I already have 10.0.0.2 I will disconnect let me ping first to see if if I have ping to the router yes so my PC can see the router now uh, on layer 3 connect so I open file, let me delete this one, and then I will take take it and put it back. Here we go. You can see it is now showing 9.8 kilobyte as size. So now what I need to do, actually just to be uh, sure that, that this is working uh, correctly, I will change the IP here to say, wow, 
two one uh, two five four. Okay, that's that's good. We make it uh, two five four. Okay, because now when we restore the configuration, it should show a change to dot one. Yeah. So now it's two five four. Let me ping again from my router from my PC to the router ten to zero zero dot two five four. They are on the same range, then that that should be not be a problem. I go to the file. And then I will click on lab one backup and then I will say restore. There is no password. Restore. Do you want to restore configuration reboot? Yes. Okay. And now the router should uh, restore the configuration. We just wait a little bit. And then I think that that step should be also done. Um, correctly and then in this case we would have uh, finished our first lab in this course let's go now to microtech again and check yeah here we go it takes some time so we can see now 10.0.0.1 so the IP has been changed from 254 to 10.0.0.1 it has mic, uh, mic lab 1 also that's the identity so it's also changed so let me log in now so the name is of the identity is changed the IP has been changed also and let's check also the user because we made the user if you remember uh, users yeah it is here so that's really uh, the simplest way to make a restore for your router and uh, the configuration on your router so this is now the ending of uh, lab number one I hope that you enjoyed it and I see you in the upcoming lecture